Today in Madison, Governor Tony Evers is calling for a special session of the state legislature to pass a measure that would create a way for voters to repeal Wisconsin's abortion ban. Katie Crowther is in Milwaukee with more on this announcement. Governor Evers has called for these special sessions before on a variety of hot button issues and the Republican controlled legislature has simply gaveled in and gaveled out with no discussion or action taken. So more than anything, this is a way for Evers to put pressure on state Republicans and keep the issue of abortion in the spotlight ahead of November's election. Evers is in a tight race with Republican Tim Michaels, who supports Wisconsin's abortion ban, which has no exceptions for rape or incest. Creating a way for voters to repeal our state's abortion ban would require a constitutional amendment, which would definitely not happen by November. Evers points to the fact that polls have repeatedly shown that a majority of Wisconsin residents support abortion rights, and that goes beyond his own political party. It's everybody. And I, I hear from people, independents, I hear from Republicans that are just appalled by the fact that we're in this position, that we had 50 years of rights that suddenly disappeared overnight, and a legislature that is unwilling to even discuss it. That's disgusting. Evers has set the special session for October 5th, and I will be reaching out to Republicans on this as well. In Milwaukee, Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News. And after Governor Evers' announcement, Republican Speaker Robin Voss tweeted, quote, Governor Evers would rather push his agenda to have abortion available until birth than talk about his failure to address rising crime and runaway inflation caused by his liberal D.C. allies. Well, a poll that was released two weeks ago by Marquette Law School found that a majority of people in Wisconsin are against the Supreme Court decision overturning Roe v. Wade. 63% opposed it, 30% were in favor of it. Meanwhile, a new poll from Emerson College shows Democratic Governor Tony Evers has a two-point lead over Republican Tim Michaels among likely voters. The Marquette poll two weeks ago showed Governor Evers up 3%.